Today on Toy Shiz, McFarlane goes full Amazon. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new DC Multiverse Todd McFarlane's own Wonder Woman action figure from his DC Multiverse line. Nice packaging, of course. Wonder Woman, Todd McFarlane design on the front, on the back, on the sides, cross cells. All that really nice DC Multiverse packaging we've got time and time again. Although now, it's got a McFarlane Wonder Woman inside. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Todd McFarlane designed Wonder Woman by McFarlane Toys. And here's Wonder Woman all out of the packaging, and she comes with some nice accessories, and you do get one stylish-looking Warrior Angel. Amazon, what are we saying? Anyway, she gets a very cool shield. This is one of the coolest accessories thus far McFarlane Toys has put with any of their figures. It's got gorgeous paint on it. It's got straps that actually fit. And it looks amazing. That is very cool. Same with the sword. Very ornate. Lots of different sculpted details to it. It rocks. It is very cool. It's a little rubbery. Got a little warped in the box. But a little heat. You can fix that up. Oh, so nice. It's just, it's there's W's all over this figure, right? For Wonder Woman, of course. And here she is. She looks great. This actually came out quite fantastic, but you can see the nuances of Angela a little bit in this for all you McFarlane Spawn fanatics out there. This figure could have used a wash to it. It would have really made all these little details, like the hair is so cool looking. A little wash to the hair, a little wash to the gauntlets here and there. It's not detracting from the fact by any means, but just to have that little bit of oomph to it, that would have been awesome and it just has all kinds of buckles i think right here you can see her belly button right i think that was supposed to be like skin at some point it just looks like it would have been everything that kind of goes on with the costume probably more skin showing but who knows with warner brothers these days right and then you can see that she has all the straps all these little details everything is texturized underneath all the cloth then you can put her sword in the sheath and this is actually pretty cool right here I thought this was going to be glued down. You actually get her lasso of truth. It's all wound up, of course, but you can make it work, and it fits right there on her belt. She's got peg holes on the bottom of her feet. Up top, these are very, very rubbery, and unfortunately, I got a little paint flex going on. It's a little warped as well. I wish they were more standout-ish a little bit, but she actually has some really nice head articulation to her and when you kind of fidget around with it you'll see exactly what i mean she actually looks up quite a bit and she looks down quite a bit despite having all of that hair and she also kind of rocks she can do her little you know dance move like she's in the club or whatnot but it works and it looks nice now with her shoulder pads these big giant things they are rubber as well and they fit with everything going on. Nothing at the bicep. She has single jointed elbows and they will spin at the elbow. And then she, of course, she has those wrist rocker things that I'm not too big a fan on, but they're well hidden within her very detailed gauntlets. She actually has a great ab crunch to her and she'll rock to and fro. So you get a lot of movement there. As far as the waist, it feels like there's something you can barely kind of turn it. It might be that it's rubbing up against the rubber overlay but it seems like there's something in there. She can do the splits, she can kick out. She actually gets a lot of agility out of that. So that's really nice to see. You can kind of see how everything moves in the joints right there. She has double jointed knees, which look great. Even the little piece on her kneecap fits and works well. Her ball jointed feet, she stands good. She stands even better with the stand, we'll just say. She's got toe articulation, but those ball joint feet you have to kind of turn them and twist them to get her really going. But once you do, once you put all the weapons and the accessories and the shield and everything else on her, she stands proud, she stands tall, she looks cool. She looks like a warrior Amazon, and that is awesome. Now, does she look exactly like a Wonder Woman? If you look at her, you be like, oh yeah, it's Wonder Woman. Not really. However, she has elements to Wonder Woman, but what I'm kind of liking her for more than 
more than anything is the fact that she reminds me of a Spawn character, and I really dig that. But when you do put her up against the McFarlane-designed Batman, you can kind of see, yeah, these go together nicely. They're overly detailed, overly sculpted, everything else, but that's McFarlane's charm, right? If you don't like it, there's plenty of other Batmans and Wonder Womans in this line so far. So to kind of just show that off, I would say this new one has the best face yet for a Wonder Woman figure, but this one overall is still my favorite, the Dark Knight's Metal. But you can see, yeah, even with all of these ones, this one holds up pretty nicely. And just to compare, to see what's come before, I actually really like this towards the very end of the line Mattel Wonder Woman. And just the faces alone, you can see how far McFarlane's come in elevating the DC Multiverse line. But like I said, yes, she's very much Angela without being Angela, but you could say it's Angela-ish, right? Or even Tiffany the Amazon? Who knows? It's just a warrior angel as far as I'm concerned. And she scales very nicely with Spawn. So you can put her in all kinds of battles and whatnot. It's a very McFarlane-esque figure. You can see the design. You can see his nuances, the lines of his work, everything else in this figure. And for that, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So I'll definitely tell you, if you're a big fan of McFarlane's work, the artistry, the comic books, Spawn in general, I think you might really like this. If you're kind of on the fence and saying, well, it doesn't really allude to anything, it's not something that's come before, then yeah, by all means be like, eh, maybe maybe it's a, a clearance grab or something like that. Maybe you see it, you change your mind in the stores. But in either sense, I'll tell you this. The weapons are great. I love that they included her lasso of truth. She could have used a little bit more paint on the back. I'll be quite honest with you, but a nice wash, something like that to really elevate the sculpted out details, that would have been just great. The usual gripes, extra hands would have been nice. Heck, even a really angry Amazon head portrait, that would have been really cool. But for what we got, I will say this, you're gonna walk away with a nice figure. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this brand new McFarlane designed Wonder Woman. Is it for you? Have you already grabbed your comment below? Let me know. Let's talk everything McFarlane DC Multiverse. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember now I can't wait to see what his Todd McFarlane designed Superman is gonna look like. That should be epic and probably contain a lot of spikes and pouches and whatever else. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.